In today's video, I will show you how I, a 1200 star warm up for Bad Wars and what I consider the best warm up. So, let's go! As some of you already know, I personally play Sumos every single day before I start playing Bad Wars just to get all the 10 daily quests and the couple duels quests that also exist, and that's basically all I do for warm up usually. That is because Sumos is pretty good for a non projectile and non healing PvP warm up. Also, depending on what time you are playing Sumos, there are usually between 20% and 80% cheaters in this mode, and while some of them are so blatant that it's not really useful. It's actually not too bad to fight against like some closeted cheaters or cheaters that aren't closeted but aren't too blatant either. Maybe they only have like one block of reach or maybe they only have some little anti-KB that isn't like complete all the way there. Having to fight hackers is actually really handy since if you have someone that is really blatantly using anti-KB and reach but it's not blatant enough for them to actually be 100% able to beat you then your aim and also your sprint resetting and every single skill you need to master in order to be good at pvp really gets stretched to the absolute max you really have to be your absolute best to win against cheaters that are blatant but not all the way there where you can't beat them anymore and that actually warms you up pretty well from what i've seen so far i think i'll try to give you an example i'll try to find someone that is like blatantly cheating but not blatant enough Okay, this person is definitely not blatantly cheating. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good example. Oh my god, no, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they teleported to the side, but that was a pretty good example actually. They had some anti-KB, but it wasn't quite where I wouldn't have been able to like beat them. It was just a shame that they just teleported to the side then. That's pretty unfortunate. That's just my typical warm-up routine that I go through every single day. It is pretty handy. It also doesn't really take too much time. Usually it takes like, I don't know, up to five minutes or maybe if it goes really bad, 10 minutes. Problem is that the daily quests most of the time don't really count. So I have to win way more than just 10 games in order to get the quest. But it gets me warmed up pretty well. That's what I personally do for warm up. But what do I actually consider the perfect warm up? If you really want to be completely warmed up, like insanely warmed up, then I guess follow the following steps. First of all, if your environment is like really cold, just fill your sink with really warm water, just please don't burn yourself, and put your hands in there for like a minute. While this warm effect will go away after a while, the joints and muscles in your hands should now be warmed up and ready for fast and precise movement. This counteracts the typical cold hands effect that occurs for some players. Now second of all, just go to bellwarspractice.club and practice some block clutching and some parkour. This is one of these typical block clutching uh, parkour thingies and you can just go ahead and run. I'm really bad at this, I just realized. Maybe I should actually practice this. I don't know. You probably know how this works. Ah, this is how it works. Ah, lel. Okay, it's, it shouldn't really be hard at all. I just clicked off my blocks for some reason. That's one you can do. I personally really enjoy this one, which makes you block clutch constantly. You just get hit to the side and then you have to block clutch. It's uh, actually pretty fun. I haven't done this in a while. But as you can see, it's pretty good to just uh, do this to become good at block clutching. In my opinion, this is probably the best course you can go for. And as I said, this one is pretty good to work out on your parkour skills. How do I activate these? Eh? Disabled? What do you mean disabled? Oh, use checkpoints. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this one is pretty good to work on your parkour skills, I feel like. I personally don't usually do this. I don't warm up my parkour, as I already told you. I only do this sumo thing. But yeah, if you just do this to warm up, you're going to get some pretty nice parkour movement. Now, the next step of your warming up is actually going to happen in single player. And I have this world called Ultimate Block and Practice. If you want to have this world, I will link it to you down in the video description. And basically, this world enables you to practice blockheads, and that is going to look like this. 
Okay, that was a pretty bad one, but I have to be honest, 100% honest here, that was the first one I tried today, so that's pretty cool. Basically, you should do this until you feel warmed up enough. Like, if you can do this consistently, that was the second one I tried today, then you should be good to go, actually. In my opinion, start at this block, and then do this one, this one, this one. And if you can do all of these perfectly, you don't do any mistakes, then you should consider yourself warmed up at this. Let's actually try this one again, and just like that we should be warmed up. But yeah, this world, I really enjoy it. It's uh, It should actually be like your number one choice if you want to practice blockins. Uh, there should also be some blockin practice on bellwars.club, but in my opinion that, I don't know, it's just stressful. <laughs> I don't like that. So yeah, link in the video description to this world. And next up, you should actually head back to Sumos, or in this case it's your first time, doing sumos that earlier was just me talking about what I personally do. Sumos is definitely perfect to warm up your Bad Wars PvP game and that is why I like it so much and that is why I also recommend you to use it in your warm-up routine as well, even this long one. It just should be a part of your warm-up. Again, one good measure of finding out if you should still play sumos or if you're already warmed up enough is to just play until you have all the daily quests. Here we go, teleporting man. <laughs> Another reason why you should definitely do sumos on Hypixel as opposed to, I don't know, sumos on Lunar Practice something, I don't know what it's called, Lunar Server, is because, as you all know, Hypixel has a different KB system. Usually it is a non-dynamic KB system that Minecraft is using, but on Hypixel we have a custom dynamic KB system, so if you want to get warmed up for Hypixel PvP, then you should definitely go ahead and do sumos on Hypixel to get warmed up for their specific KB system. That is just what I advise you to do. And now, ah, wanted to flawless you. Well, goodbye. And now, last but not least, we have this little guy called the Bad Wars Practice Person. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually their name. <laughs> what this lovely feller actually enables you to do is to also practice your bridging. Obviously, Bell Wars also consists of a lot of bridging, so in my opinion you should also warm up your speed bridge a little, so let's go. To warm up your speed bridge, and that is insanely easy, you just go ahead and bridge all the way over to that island, the other one that is right in front of you as soon as you get spawned. And, but you get what I'm trying to tell you, yeah? <laughs> you just warm up your speed bridge. <laughs> and now that I have basically completed all these different steps of the extended warm-up routine I wanted to show you, I will actually play a game of Bad Wars solos myself to see how warmed up am I. I will just, uh, even if I lose it, I will include it. And, um, yeah. Let's see how warmed up I am. Alright, here we are in game. One of my favorite maps. I love this map. Fun fact, by the way, uh, when I recorded that clip of me putting my hands in the warm water, I kind of uh, used water that was a little too warm and I actually burned my hands a little. It's not really that bad, it just uh, hurt a little in the moment, you know. And uh, that is exactly what I wanted to tell you. Don't burn your hands. Oh god, blue is going for me. Oh no. I will probably actually lose this game. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't actually want to lose this to include a loss. No, 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 no. So far, I do feel pretty warmed up, but I don't really feel like it's too much of a difference to just playing a couple games of sumos on its own. So if you ask me, you don't need to warm up like a maniac. You can just warm up like I usually do by just playing a couple games of sumos. Uh, could you kill me real quick? I want to respawn at my base. I think I can still save my bet here. <laughs> okay. I definitely can, and they were a final kill too. And that guy also died on its own. On their own, not of its own, what the heck. I think I'll go for Aqua next. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I actually enjoyed creating this video like crazy. I don't know what it was about it, but it just felt so cool to create this video. Especially with the couple extra scenes I recorded in the bathroom and stuff. Finally, I could put the tripod I bought years ago to a good use. <laughs> Alright, this is Aquabed for us. I think I will purchase a little bit of protection. And then we can take him out. And just like... 
Ooh, we almost lost that, but we got a pretty good starting combo. We got eight emeralds. Should we just go in on this person? Imagine me accidentally giving him eight emeralds. Lel. That oh, after this game, I will give you a quick conclusion of what I think of my workout. No, not workout. What the heck? My warm-up routine compared to the warm-up routine I had for you today. The extended version, if you know what I'm talking about. Also, I was really worried about this person in Lobby 1, not in Lobby 1, in the pre-game lobby, because I saw they had Luna Plus, but luckily that won't be a problem, I look, feel like. <laughs> and goodbye. Let's see. Oh god, I hotkeyed off of my blocks, okay. That is pretty unfortunate. And goodbye. Alrighty, boys and girls. Uh, conclusion time. In my opinion, you don't really need that long of a warm-up routine. I didn't feel like I was more warmed up than I usually am, which is playing a couple games of sumo. But if you wanna, you can definitely follow my warm-up routine. Comment if you wanna use that from now on, or actually comment what do you do to warm up? Do you warm up in general? I don't know. That would actually be pretty interesting to hear about. Also, yesterday, Nas streamed himself with the new YouTube rank. Oh my god, I'm kind of jealous too, but I'm also so insanely proud of him. I watched him ever since he had like 3,000 subscribers, I believe. It feels so awesome to have another red name on the leaderboard. I'm really proud of you, Nas, not gonna lie. But that is actually it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your night, and good bye.